Olympic Stadium in Rome, August 1960, and the 17th Olympic Games opened before a crowd of 100,000 spectators. As they hoped to do in Tokyo this fall, the U.S. men swept the diving events. Bob Webster took the platform diving. Gary Devine came through later to win the springboard diving crown. In the 110-meter high hurdle, it's a sweep for the U.S. as Lee Calhoun and teammate Willie May battle down to the tape. Calhoun, nearest the camera, wins in a storybook finish as he lunges across, spotting the tape with his head. It was one, two, three for Uncle Sam as Hayes Jones cops third place. In the 400-meter run, Otis Davis heads for a new Olympic record as he captures a gold medal for the U.S. He clips a full second off the old record in a race that has gone down as one of the classic runs of all time. The crowd witnesses an outstanding performance by a woman phenomenon. Wilma Rudolph runs the anchor leg in the women's 400-meter relay and zooms to the front to clinch the race. She won two individual events for the U.S. and wound up as the only three-time gold medal winner in track and field. Another Olympic record was set in the pole vault by Don Bragg. He soared 15 feet, 5 and 18 inches, an Olympic record that's bound to fall in the coming games in Tokyo. When the final unofficial scores were totaled, the United States team wound up second behind the Russians. What will be the story in Tokyo? Experts say that the U.S. team has a good chance of coming out on top. Whoever wins, the torch of sportsmanship will burn brightly.